Hacer Nagano, Box Elder. These are rounded to irregularly shaped trees, 30 to 50 feet tall. The foliage is deciduous, opposite, and oddly pinnately compound with three to five leaflets, although leaves can have seven or up to nine leaflets. Each leaflet is ovate to lanceolate oblong, and the margins of the leaflets can vary. They can be coarsely serrate, slightly toothed, or even lobed. They're usually dark green above with lighter green below, and the petioles are two to three inches long and sometimes a little red in color. Where the opposite petioles meet at the stem, they can be broken away to reveal a V-shaped leaf scar. Buds of Acer Nagundo are about a quarter inch long, greenish, sometimes reddish, and the scales sometimes have silky hairs on them. Young stems of Acer Nagundo are often green and will turn brown with age. When they are green, they tend to be covered by a white waxy coating, which is called a bloom. This bloom or waxy coating can be rubbed off to reveal the green stem underneath. If you bruise or otherwise damage the stem, it often can have kind of a foul or a bad smell to it. Ornamental features of Acer Nagundo include gray-brown ridged and furrowed bark. The fruit type is a Samara, and they hang in pairs, and those pairs are then grouped into clusters. There is usually a 60 degree angle or less between each pair of Samara. Among the different Acers, the angles of the Samaras can be an important ID feature. They are not particularly known for being ornamental in flower. In a more cultivated landscape, the females should be avoided to avoid the mess of the Samaras. Uh, in a naturalized area, there's certainly no problem and fit right in. Cultural information about Acer Nagundo, they tend to be hardy from zones 3 to 9. They grow best in full sun, but certainly can tolerate some shade of adjacent trees. Acer Nagundo are adapted to a wide variety of soil moisture conditions. They can handle saturated or very wet soil, consistently moist, and sometimes even periods of dry soil. They're widely adaptable in terms of their pH, tolerating anywhere from pH 5 to 8, which would be acidic to alkaline. Sometimes they can be bothered by box elder bugs, although it's usually not too much of a problem for these trees. They're native to Iowa and across the USA and into Canada. Acer Nagundo are fast growing trees, can be somewhat weedy. They're not especially attractive, although some of the cultivars may be better than straight species. Because they are fast growing, they tend to be fairly weak wooded and somewhat short lived. These are often found in naturalized areas along creeks or streams and are well suited to those conditions.